Annie was so uh, distressed by her reception. She and Golda had become very friendly. Annie had gone there and Golda had entertained her for a week or two before the production went in. This was supposed to be Annie's preliminary uh, study of Golda. And when Golda came to see the opening night, she was very displeased with what Annie was doing. And I went backstage and there was Annie and Golda in Annie's dressing room, both of them sitting in silence. And uh, Annie was taking off her false nose and made some remark about it to Golda, and Golda said, I wish I could do it too. You know? But that was the whole conversation. The next day, Golda had, a, had summoned us all to, the, to a hotel, and we had an interview with her without Annie present, and Golda said, if I looked and sounded the way Annie does, I would never have been elected prime minister. Uh, she hated what Golda was, what Annie was doing as Golda, and it wasn't that bad, but Golda had certain blind spots about herself. She said, I don't use these Jewish expressions, you know? And I said, uh, you just said, that ignorant I'm not? And that's a Jewish inversion. So she didn't, so she, Annie, the writing, there wasn't much of this in the writing, but Annie, she didn't like what Annie was doing at all. And Annie was destroyed, and Annie, Annie was allowed in then for the rest of this, and Golda said, that's all. And she didn't speak much more, but, but Annie knew what it was. And Annie had to leave that meeting to go play a matinee. I mean, it was terrible. She was destroyed by Golda's rejection of her. And she then had to try to revise. She said, you have to tell me just where do I put my hands in my pockets or something like that, to things that Golda had objected to. And uh, I didn't see much, I, I didn't go to many more of the performances myself because I disliked the play. Uh, 